All right, so this past spring, I got the Humminbird Mega Side Image 7, Helix 7, um, and I want to convert this to an ICE unit. And there's a whole bunch of things online. You can pay like 400 something dollars for the actual Humminbird conversion kit. Um, but this right here is what I'm going to show you in this video and how to set it up. This costed me $35 on Amazon. Get the Pro Pack 2 from Vexlar. Sets up super easy. Um, I just have to screw this to the back right here to hold the transducer. Put two screws right there. Comes with a nice little tackle box. Comes with a rod holder for hole hopping. Super light. Battery's going to go in the back. I got the transducer that you need separate. I'll show you that uh, in a little bit here, the exact transducer you need. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get this set up and show you how to do that and help you save a lot of money and still get a nice, the, check this out, fits in a five gallon bucket. It's gonna be very, very nice for hole hopping with the, with the Humminbird. All right, any type of 12, 12 volt battery should work for this. This is one that I got from Expert Power. I mean, if you wanna get a lithium ion one that lasts longer, you can, but um, I'm gonna use this one right here. So drop that in the back. Make sure that this is facing forward. This is your front spot where the tackle box goes. This is where the unit's gonna sit. All right, battery will go in the back. So make sure when you take this out of the box, you gotta snap this into place with the arms facing forward. Drop the battery in there. It should fit really nicely. You have to do that before you put this in. If you drill this on first, that battery's not gonna lift out. Now, obviously, if you ever need to replace the battery, pretty simple to just undo those screws, but I'm gonna, I got this one locked in there. I'm gonna put this in now. All right, so I set this up, and obviously when you buy this, there's more specific directions. That's why I wasn't completely, uh, like, super specific in this video. One thing you will need, though, get some rubber washers from Menards. These are, um, these are about 50 cents each. Put one on each side of this. When screwing that together, that's going to make sure it holds. Obviously, it's not, like, designed for Humminbird, so the, the, the extra rubber washers are essential. I've got the battery connector coming up from the back. Uh, this heads this just so you know, I'm taking took this one from my Humminbird 55, but I'll include a link to where I found these online. I have one on, on the way um, for only like eight dollars, so that's important. All right, so to switch it to ice mode, I have to go menu, go to the sonar, and on the bottom. Go to ice mode. It's going to require a power off, so you gotta confirm that. It'll shut down, then I can turn it back on to ice mode. I've got the transducer hanging over. Just a little slack water here off the main channel. So, should work. All right, we are in ice mode. The view options with the sonar you can choose what you want right now I think I have it set to flasher well you can go from flasher to sonar I'm gonna get to flasher and then the 2d image right there and I've got the transducer down there let's see if I can't pick up my sinker Oh, there, there it is right there. Up at about six feet right now, that's me. Yeah, you can see it on the 2D also. So that's working. Ready to go for ice season. Some of the other options that you can, can do here, change your gain, click menu. You can turn your gain up or down, obviously. See how much that changes the, what interference you get. Cone angle, surface clutter. I actually don't know what surface clutter is, but oh, interesting. So I'll have to mess around with it more, but that's how the conversion 
works, hope that helps you out, saves you some money.